Hello, hello, hello. Oh, this is your girl, Kimmy, with Straight Arrow Motivations. Motivations. It's time for your motivation. 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 What's up? 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 It's Friday, 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 Friday. I have been waiting for this day to come because this day marks the first day of my vacay. Yes. Welcome, 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 welcome. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hi, I am Kimmy and this is Straight Arrow Motivations. If this is your first time joining, thank you. Welcome. Straight Arrow Motivations is intended to inspire, encourage, and just help you to be your very best self. And what I do at Straight Arrow Motivations, I shoot it straight from the heart, giving you my two cents, and you can spend it where ever you please. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? We've had a very, 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 not very, 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 very busy week. And I'm just, like I said, excited to get started with the winter holiday break. Much deserved, much deserved. So parents, we are turning it over to you for the next two weeks. Have fun, <laughs> have fun. So I know you will. So what's going on? Have you all gotten a little Christmas shopping done? Uh, just a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. Some of you all are finished. Some of you all were finished October, okay? But I'm last minute shopper. So I've gotten a couple of things done, but not everything done. But um, let's, let's talk about something right quick. This has nothing to do with our topic for tonight, but I just want to bring it up. Um, what's throwing me off tonight? Let me tell you something that's throwing me off. That extra 25 cent at Dollar Tree, Mm-mm, I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. And you know, mama was talking about it. She kept talking about that quarter, that quarter, that extra quarter. She didn't like that extra quarter. I was like, mama, let them people live. Let them make their money. They're trying to make more money so that they will be able to help out their employees, you know? Get them a little bit more change, you know, except six, seven dollars an hour. That ain't what's up. So, you know, at first... I was like, let the people live. Let them make it. Wow. Y'all, I went up in there. And, you know, you're thinking in your mind. You still got in your mind old Dollar Tree. Old $1 Dollar Tree. No. No, 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 no. Honey, I went up in there putting stuff in the buggy. Putting stuff in the buggy, in the basket. Putting stuff, putting stuff, putting stuff. Honey, that quarter makes a difference. It makes a difference, okay? I was like, you know, talking to the sales guy, the little guy at the checkout. He was like, man, people been mad about that quarter. I said, baby, I'm mad about that quarter. That quarter making me put a couple things back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just in your mind, you're thinking $1, $1. You're not thinking $1.25. So, yeah, they have started at $1.25, y'all. And so, yeah, it's real. It's real. What you normally would get maybe for $10, $15 is more like $20, $25 now, you know, with tax added on. So, yeah, I still love Dollar Tree. I still will uh, patronize Dollar Tree. I'm not going anywhere, you know, but I just have to have a new focus when I go to Dollar Tree. Don't forget that quarter. So, that was just a little rabbit trail. What I really want to talk about tonight is um, life expectancy. 
that's really our topic tonight. Not Dollar Tree in the quarter, the extra quarter, but life expectancy. You know, hey guys, how many of you are thinking about planning on living um, to 100? How many of you want to live to 100? How many of you want to live to 95, 90, 80, 85? What is your life expectancy? How long are you planning to live? And, you know, you can plan it out a little bit because you can look at the uh, people in your family, some of the um, your elders that are in your family. And, you know, if you have people in your family who have lived to 90, 95, 88, 89, you know, which we have people in our family who live in their 80s and a little bit beyond. So, you know, I can safely say that possibly I can live to 80s. But do you all want to live to 100? Would you like to be around for 100 years? You know, see how fun that would be to be around for 100 years. So what is your life expectancy? Um, research says that the average life expectancy is um, around 85. And this is worldwide. It's a little bit less in other countries and um, a little bit more in places like Japan. Um, but unfortunately, due to the coronavirus pandemic, we've lost some years. You know, um, I was reading, and this was a report done by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and they said because of the coronavirus pandemic, the life expectancy took a dive. It took a dive. So um, it hadn't been this low since before World War II. So life expectancy for Hispanics has dropped 3.0 years. The life expectancy for non-Hispanic Blacks has dropped 2.9 years and life expectancy for whites, non-Hispanic has dropped 1.2 years. And this has all been due to the coronavirus pandemic. Before then, we were well on the way to reaching 85, 90 years in certain places, certain countries. But now the life expectancy has dropped to 78, 77 years. And I saw in my county, based on my zip code where I live, the average um, was 79.15. In the state of Texas, the average is 78 years. And in the United States, as of 2021, March 2021, the average life expectancy is 77.30 years. So, you know, what you're doing now can help to ensure that you live a very long and prosperous life. You know, a lot of people are saying they don't want to live a long life because um, age, along with age, comes a lot of ailments, you know, you know, your health issues, financial maybe issues, having enough money to live to be that long, um, you know, losing friends and loved ones, you know, people won't be around that long to live with you. And they're like, I don't want to live that long. You know, I'm the only person living and all of my friends and family have passed away. So those are some things that sometimes people say as reasons why they do not want to live a long time. Now, there was a doctor, Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, and he wrote an article in 2014 entitled, Why I Hope to Die at 75. 
And his thinking was that the majority of people accomplish everything in life that they want to accomplish before age 75. So he was saying that there's no need in staying past 75 because of all of the ills that come with growing older. Like I said, your finances, you know, not having maybe friends or loved ones, depression, you know, um, some things that I was reading was talking about your your sexual desire and your sexual sexuality, I mean, not sexuality, sexual desire dries, you know, slows down. Um, your body has different pains. So some people feel that they don't want to go through the process of aging and getting older. They don't want to go through that. They would rather just stop in the prime of their lives. So what do you feel about that? Put that in the comments. Do you want to live to be an older person? You know, and if you do, how old would you like to be? I'm thinking for me, um, about 80. You know, I did a quiz, one of the quizzes, life expectancy quizzes, and it said 86 for me. So I was like, okay, okay, I'm good with 86. I'm good with 86. That gives me just enough time to work, work, and then it gives me a good amount of years to um, be retired and to do some other things that I want to do. Now, based on other research that I saw, um, they're saying that at age 68, that is considered the average age where a person is considered old. Um, now, they surveyed 2,969 people and they responded back as saying that age 68 is what is considered old. Now, when they polled people who were 65 and older who were in this age category, only 6% of them said that 68 was considered old. So in other words, people who were at that age, 65 or older, they didn't feel like 68 was old. So really, you know what? That study shows and proves to me that really age is all about how you feel. It's all about how you feel. If you feel like you're not getting old, if you feel like you, or, or if you feel like, hey, you're going to embrace age and you're going to take it on and not just, oh, you know, your attitude about age and not public opinion determines how you, really to me, how long you will live. If you have a positive attitude, Along with, you know, getting um, exercise, eating well, you know, being in positive environments, keeping your brain sharp. These are all things that will kind of sort of guarantee you, you know, a long, long, healthy, happy life. Now, there are some other factors, of course. You know, they were saying whether or not you live with your, by yourself or whether or not you are married and, and had kids. But, you know, really, age is how you feel. It's how you feel. That's where it starts. It starts here. And then your body, you're going to bring it. You're going to bring it in. You're going to bring it into the picture. You know, get moving and keep active. Even after you retire, There, you still may want to work or do some other things some travel, some volunteering, learning something new, a new language, learning how to play an instrument, doing something that is challenging. You know, in the 1800s, the average life expectancy was 55. 55, that's it. Well, I'm 53 right now, so in the 1800s, I got about two more years and then I'm out of here. 
You know, but people lived a different life back in the 1800s. In 1800s, you know, my people who looked like me, similar to me, were enslaved. So that was a harder life. So they made, you know, that, that probably was non-whites with age 55. You know, people who look like, no, that probably was whites. I said non-whites. That probably was whites age 55. Non-whites probably was 45 or maybe even 38, maybe even less. So, but people now in the information age, you know, we're not doing as much manual work. Um, as before, and so, you know, um, we're having a revolution in health, and so that life expectancy can be expanded to a little bit older. So I really do want you to comment and just tell me, you know, how old would you like to be? How old would you like to be before you pass away? Would you... How many people I really would like to know would like to make 100 years, would make that century mark? How many would like to make that century mark? I'm not really interested in the century mark. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe not. But, you know, I am interested in seeing how many of you are interested in the century mark. So, you know, living and doing what you love, you know, getting the best quality out of life, to me, that is what's important. And like Dr. Um, Emmanuel said, you know, if you can pack everything in before 75 and you want to be out of here, then you do that. You do that. Now, I'm not, of course, at, um, admonishing that anyone would take their lives, of course. That's never what I'm saying. But, um, you know, we don't know the exact date. But, you know, get, he's saying get everything accomplished and get it in by 75. I think, you know, in your 80s, 90s, that's good. That's That gives you um, at least time to see your kids, your grandkids, great-grandkids, to share your wisdom with people and to be here and then bless other people. And then go on home and be with the Lord. So, yeah, that's, that's you know, that's, that's my thinking. That is my thinking. So, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. We've been talking about life expectancy. And so, it's, it's a great, great topic, growing old. And I may do some other things about growing old, especially as I now get to these stages and phases in my life. So I thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. If you would, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to like, and to share, and to subscribe. Again, this has been your girl, Kimmy, with Straight Arrow Motivations. Thank you so much, and be blessed.